13th Amendment to the Constitution makes it unconstitutional for someone to be held as a slave. Uh, in other words, it grants freedom to all Americans. There are exceptions, including criminals. There's a clause, a loophole. If you have that embedded in the structure, in this constitutional language, then it's there to be used as a tool for whichever purposes one wants to use it. Today, I am with the, I'd say the greatest director on the planet what? right now. Black Tree <laughs> director, <laughs> director of 13th, uh, amongst other great films, Miss mm. Ava DuVernay. Thank you. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. I love Black Tree. Hello, Jamal. Hello, everyone <laughs> at Black Tree. <laughs> she said she was going to give you the plug, Jamal. <laughs> so you've uh, either written or directed some great films. Um, uh, I Will Follow, Out of Nowhere, Selma. Mm -hmm. uh, you got a show coming up, Queen Sugar. It's on the air now. Yes, yes, yes. So make sure you check that out. Yes. Why was it important to get the message out about 13th? Now, this is a project I've been working on for two years, really quietly. We didn't announce that we were doing it. We didn't send out a press release. We just did it. Mm -hmm. Didn't really know what I was doing at first. Didn't know what the story was going to be. Just knew I was interested in talking about um, you know, the police presence that I saw in my community growing up in Compton, uh, the, 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 the prison kind of, the, the men disappearing mm -hmm. and going into prison and never coming back mm -hmm. um, in our community. And uh, when Netflix gave me the opportunity to make a doc about anything I wanted, this is what I wanted to say. So um, it's a pleasure to kind of be on the other side of the premieres, uh, just having had the premieres last night, yeah. and to see that people really are understanding what we were trying to share. Now, one of the things that stood out as alarming, uh, a fact that I knew but was reminded of, one out of every four prisoners in the world is here in America. That's right. How did that impact you when you first found out from bad information? It's a startling statistic. Um, we say the statistic at the top of the 13th. Mm -hmm. uh, President Obama gives the, 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 the information, and we proceed from there. But the fact that uh, the United States is 5% of the world's population, mm -hmm. we're just 5% of the whole world. Think of 100, and we're just 5 of that. And, but we have 25% of the world's prisoners, a fourth, live in the land of the free. Uh, that's nuts. And we're not talking about it hardly enough, and so that's what the 13th talks about. Another thing I noticed in the documentary is that you use the different presidents, starting with Reagan mm -hmm. and moving up, to show how they were an essential part of reinforcing that 13th and that hidden slavery, whether it was via uh, economics or just through yeah. you know, putting people in bad situations. Yeah. What made you decide to focus on the presidency as well, along with all the other uh, facts? Yeah, you know, putting together a film, it's kind of like a puzzle, even if it's a narrative film, but especially with a doc, and especially one that was as sprawling as this one. So my editor and I, Spencer Averick, spent a lot of time in trying to figure out, gosh, what goes first? And we just decided on chronological order. Mm -hmm. And as you go through, you hit each of the presidents, and you see that whether it was a Republican president or a Democratic president, both parties had a hand in this. Um, and black bodies have been used for political gain throughout the, the decades, centuries now. And so, um, so our idea to just take viewers through it very methodically, because it's a lot to take in. Yeah. So if you just follow a timeline, it's a little easier. Experts call them super predators. They are not just gangs of kids anymore. They are often the kinds of kids that are called super predators. No conscience, no empathy. Animals, beasts that needed to be controlled. When those grandmothers say, but he's a good boy, he never did anything. Don't you believe it? Many black communities began to actually support policies that criminalize their own children. Last night, the 18s accused in the attack were arraigned on charges of rape and attempted murder. In the Central Park Jagger case, they put five innocent teens in prison because the public pressure to lock up these quote unquote animals was so strong. You better believe that I hate the people that took this girl and raped her brutally. You better believe it. Donald Trump wanted to give these kids a death penalty, and he took out a full-page ad to put the pressure on. These children, four of them under 18, all went to adult prisons for 6 to 11 years before DNA evidence proved they were all innocent. 
I also noticed that you make great use of historic footage, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of footage from 60s, even uh, prior to that, uh, especially when you highlighted the original Birth of a Nation film. Mm -hmm. Any challenges in getting access or clearance to use that footage? Oh, the, the clan? The historic, the, the, the all the his, just the all of the historical stuff, oh, any of oh, that stuff. Archival footage for a documentarian, some love it. I, it was the bane of my existence. <laughs> it's really, you know, easy to grab, but then you've got to clear it. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And you bringing in hours and hours of stuff. We had over uh, 2,000 hours of archival footage that we have to go through and find just the moments to make a 100 minute film. Really, really daunting, uh, but a challenge that we uh, and Spencer uh, were up to. And speaking of Birth of a Nation, you highlighted the original film towards the beginning of the documentary. Uh, Tell us why it was important to also include that to set off the tone that you were leading through the documentary. Yeah, well, D.W. Griffith's Birth of a Nation is the first film that used a lot of the tools that we use today, the dolly shot, certain blocking techniques, um, certain lighting machinations that we use. And, um, and it, it, it elicits a certain emotion. Mm -hmm. It's like manufacturing emotion. It's just too bad that the first person to ever use film in that way was a racist. And he manufactured racist emotion. Yeah. And the first time that Americans see a film and are feeling that cinematic emotion, the message that they're being told is that white pe black people are savages. That black people are savages. That black people are to be feared. Uh, that um, that there's a disconnect between their humanity and, and yours as a white person. And so it was very powerful for the American public. Mm -hmm. They drank it in and it became part of the fabric of this country. So it was important to deconstruct that and really get back to what the power of those images. And hopefully the power of these images might be an anecdote to some of that. So the last thing I'll ask before I let you go, uh, what would you like people to take away antidote. from the documentary? Might be an antidote to some of that. <laughs> okay. Anecdote uh, is different. Yes. Uh, let us know what you would like people to take away from the documentary, even if it is just one point. One point is to interrogate the way that you think about race. I'm not asking anybody to sign a petition or change a law or march. Maybe you'll do all those things and that's fantastic. The thing I want you to do is think about your place in this puzzle, mm -hmm. this race problem, whether you're black or white. Part of the, the, the charge for black people is to really know that this present moment is not unique, that this has happened before, that it's been fought before, and that we will continue to survive, giving context to that. And for folks who are not black to understand, you don't know what you're talking about if you're trying to tell us what's going on with this moment. Mm -hmm. So why don't you listen, be an ally, and start to understand and 13th will help you do that. Well, I thank you very much for your time. Thank 13th, you. make sure everyone gets their history lesson if you don't already have that information. Thank you again for your time. Thank you, brother. Congratulations. Appreciate it.